Hello everybody, today's video is brought to you by the most persistent brand partner we've ever worked with, Wash and Go. When I think back to the first phone call I had with Mr. Wash and Go, I even said, why are you so persistent in getting me involved as an ambassador for Wash and Go? Do you know what they said? They said, because you embody everything our brand's about. And I thought, you're with it. You know what you're on about it. You're a brand about the town. Because when I think about Wash and Go, I think two in one. And when I think about myself, which isn't very often, but when I do think about it, I think, yes, two in one. Presenter. International sex symbol. I also find that Wash and Go is extremely fast and efficient as a brand to use. And, well, that's me as well. Just ask, ask Mrs. Goldbridge. You know, there's nothing I can't do too quickly. And on top of that, when I think about Twitter, I think, well, effectively, in a very watered down version, most people are replying to me saying wash and go bridge. So when I think about it, it really is a no brainer. Mark Goldbridge, wash and go and match like no other. Enjoy the clip. The Euros final between England and Italy. Who would have thought we would be saying that? Well, actually, I did. I didn't I didn't actually predict it would be England in the final. I predicted it would be England and France, not England and Italy. But it's England and Italy in the final. Absolutely huge game. Um, don't really know how to approach it, to be honest. Never been in this position before. Uh, team news is out. We've got the Paddy Power fan park there as well, which you can see that is probably as big and as crowded and as raucous as we've seen it throughout this Euros tournament. This is the last game of the Euros tournament and obviously it's the most important game of the Euros tournament for us. Um, there is team news, of course. There is an eight o'clock kickoff, of course, and there is lots and lots to discuss, of course. Um, how are you feeling? One way or another, how are you feeling? Do you feel do you feel confident? Do you feel and and that, and that works both ways as well. You know, it, it does. There'll be a lot of people very nervous about England winning this. Um, not because they want them to win it, because they want them to lose it. It's going to go both ways. Um, we are definitely, um, I nearly said bisexual there. That's, I don't know what I'm on about there. But we're definitely, um, we're definitely um, aware that there, there are people that don't want us to win. Pat, look at Trippier. Lovely ball out to Trippier. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. Overlapping run of Phillips. Wait. Put the cross in now, Trips. Back post. Go! Yes! Luke Shaw makes it 1 0 to England! Shaw! 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 In the final of the Euros! Luke Shaw! Get in! I told you! Sit down, haters! Sit down! United fans who don't like him! England fans who don't like him! Shaw Berto Carlos! What you got? What you got? What you got? What a goal! Trippier with the cross! And I tell you what, we all got it wrong because it's the right wing back on the attack and it's the left wing back on the attack in the mud! I'm swimming in the mud! I'm swimming in the Southgate mud! We don't want a back five! We don't like a back five! We've just seen what a back five can do! We've just seen what a back five can do! Oh! What a start! What a goal! What a goal! Trippier with the cross! Luke Shaw on the volley! Tekkers! Oh! Brap, 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 brap! That is sweet! That is sweet! Look at the Tekkers on this! On the half volley as well, even better! <sighs> Take a breath! Take a breath! England 1-0 up! Get in! Get in! Get in! Always loved Shaw! Always knew Shaw was world class! What a, what a goal! What a goal! What a goal! And what a start! A dream start! And that all comes from... What did I say? That all comes from the England mistake by Maguire, who then wins the corner and we break on them. It's almost part of the plan. England are 1-0 up here already in the first minute. And I tell you what, if you like football, we love football. But if you like football, that is a dream start for any game. An early goal in any game is fantastic. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jonathan Mace Manson says, bad cold tending agreed. Luke Shaw, if he wasn't having a madness season as it is, he's just scored a goal in front of the world on a half volley. Delightful cross by Trippier. But Luke Shaw, you know what? I'm just going to have a minute on this. I've been saying Luke Shaw is fantastic for a very long time. I've been told it's for this reason that I like him. That reason, he's shit, he's fat, his positional sense is no good. Shut up and get on board. That guy is world class. He is player of the tournament for me. 
the player of the tournament. I don't think anyone can. Declan Rice, look at Chiesa there. He's mu he's absolutely. Oh my God! Look at that from Chiesa. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Chiesa is the danger man. He gets past. Uh, he leaves. He le he just mugs off Declan Rice. And you know what? That was close because look at Pickford's reaction. He hasn't got a bloody clue about his angles there. That is... Cristante coming on. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark. If I was in charge, I, I, I would get on the phone to Chris Wood. He can be down there at Wembley in about an hour because I'll drive him in my Jag and I, I, I'm not bothered about breaking the law. Um, we'll call him Wardino, Wardini, and uh, we'll put a bit of Just For Men on and, uh, and a bit of the old uh, Saint-Tropez tan and uh, we'll stick him up front and uh, he'll it, sort that bloody Maguire out in stones, I tell you for that. I mean, I don't know why I do it, because I'm English, but, uh, you know, I'm not actually English, I'm Burnley. Um, but, yeah, if, if Mancini needs my help, I will get down that motorway in the Jag. I'll have to stop off on the way and get a bit of uh, petrol and a couple of Ginster pasties for uh, Woody, uh, Woodini. Um, but that's the only way they're going to win it. And if they want Tarkovsky, he actually has got an E at the end of his name and could be Italian. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us. Ooh, all that I need is... I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stop. It's nerves. I sing when I'm nervous. England swings like a pendulum do, says Will Roberts. Yeah, I'm not massively enjoying this at the moment, but... Because I just think there's too lot... If, if, Lovely run by Chiesa. Block the shot, for fuck's sake. Block the shot. Oh, what a save by Pickford. Block the bloody shot. Who's letting him shoot on his right foot? Who is letting him shoot on his right foot there? That is a joke. Don't let him shoot on his right foot. Just stand on that side so he can't do it. What a save by Pickford. What a save by Pickford. That is magnificent because Chiesa can hit a ball. That is magnificent. He's he's earned his uh, he's earned his flick. Makes you want to throw up. It makes you want to throw up. Fucking useless. What a crap goal to concede. Not not in a fight. And this is why this is why I said it. This is why I said it. I said, don't start counting your chickens because that is a shitty goal to concede. Absolute wankers at the back. I told you. What did I say? Benucci or Cialini from across. That's all they're going to do. How do we not clear this? It's a crap corner. There's so many times we could have dealt with Pickford. Oh, it's a shitty goal. There's three times there where we could stop that. Three times. Stones, what's he doing? Mount on the back post. Pickford, front post. There's four times we could have stopped that goal. Four times. That is that is a crappy goal to concede in a final. That's switch off. And we've switched off at half time. That is a crap, crap goal to concede from England. I told you, didn't I? The thing is, momentum will change now. England's mindset, they'll think, well, let's keep a clean sheet like we have all tournaments apart from a free kick. The momentum is now with Italy, I'm afraid. What have we done in this second half? For 20 minutes, we've just sat back. He's got to change it. He has to change it because we're sitting back now. We've been sitting back for ages. Now Italy have got the momentum and this game is swinging. And now Italy coming forward with Emerson and England looking lost now. England looking in trouble now. Italy suddenly in control. Now, I tell you what, a long night ahead. Look at Kane again. Fucking pass the ball for God's sake. Stop taking people on when there's a five yard pass in front of you. All bloody game, Kane and Sterling and Mount. They're taking people on when there's a five-yard pass forward in front of you. One, two. 
Pass the ball instead of taking people on. For fuck's sake, Harry Kane. What's that all about? It's been happening all game. Why did he, why didn't he pass that to Sterling? Why has he got to take somebody on? It's bizarre. It's been happening all bloody game. Sterling's doing it. Kane's doing it. Mount's doing it. Pass the bloody ball. No. That's better by Saka. That's lovely by Saka. Now make the run. Eek. Not enough weight on that. Pass, Harry. Harry, switch on you. The bloody captain of the team. Stop pratting about. Trying to take people on and underweighting your passing. You're the captain of the bloody team. This substitution, I agree with it. I think uh, either Phillips or Rice. Oh, for fuck's sake. That could have been a goal. Berardi over the top. England all over the place at the moment. Oh, ref! Bloody hell! You cheating shit, Chiellini. He's not going to get a red, is he? He's going to get a yellow. But that was... He was in then. He was bloody in then. Look at the crowd reaction. He was in then. St Saka's in. He said you can have a penalty shootout or you can go down in a, a, ta a tank with great white sharks. I'd think about it. And I hate, I hate sharks. Donnarumma is bloody the BFG. He's massive. Jordan, it's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Donnarumma and Pickford next to each other. That's like, the, that's like Bilbo Baggins standing next to Hagrid from, from uh, Harry Potter. He's absolutely massive. This penalty shootout, it makes you want to throw right up. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Please subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. So Italy are going first. So if you believe what you believe about penalties, that if you go first, then you win, Italy are going first. And I would put Italy as favourites for this now anyway, just because of Donnarumma. If I'm an English penalty taker, I'm going high. Donnarumma's tall. It's hard to save a penalty if you put it in the top corner. But Ardi's going first for Italy. Pickford looks very small. Donnarumma looks fucking massive. Berardi goes first for Italy and scores comfortably. Easy, easy work. Easy work for Berardi. I just don't, I just, bat, Pickford doesn't fill me with confidence on penalties. Uh, here's Harry Kane. Now, Harry Kane's on this pitch for one reason and one reason only, because he's the captain. He has got to score this. If we've kept Harry Kane on to miss a penalty, I'm sorry, he's got it, he's got it wrong. So he's got to score this. Harry Kane's got to score. He's had a bad game. He's on there as the captain. He's got to score this penalty. <sighs> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Donnarumma goes the right way, but that's a good penalty by Harry Kane. 1-1. One, one. That's a good penalty. That's a good start. Well done, Harry. Up he steps. Miss Bellotti. I, I used to like you, Bellotti. I know you played... I know United were looking at you. Come on, Bellotti. That's quite a straight run-up by Bellotti. No, he's moved it. Get in! Get in! Pickford saves! Come on! Come on! Long way to go. You've got to score the next penalty. You've got to score the next penalty. When somebody misses, you've got to score. You have to score the next penalty. This happened before. I can't remember when it was. It happened before. I think it was Ince missed after. Oh, my Harry Maguire. Why have we brought Rashford on? Why have we brought Sancho on? Why is Sterling there? Why is Harry Maguire taking a penalty? Why did we bring him on? Oh my God, Harry, please, no. Please score, Harry. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't understand. Yes, Gatton! Oh, that's the best of the lot. Pierce vibes. Pierce vibes. Get in. Get in, I'll tell you what. Oh my life. That's balls. That's balls of steel, that is. 
That is balls of steel. I, I mean, that's from Southgate and Harry. I, I, to me, I'm like Kane, Rashford, Sancho, Sterling, Grealish. You know, you've got that's your takers. Harry Maguire's in there. One of them, I don't know. Benucci, another defender. If we can save another. If we can save another. Benucci. Oh, he's so close. He's so close, Pickford. So close. Oh, you've got to keep scoring, mate. You've got to keep scoring. Oh, man. It's like being 1-0 up though, isn't it? It's like being 1-0 up. We're well, 1-0 up, but as soon as we miss, the momentum goes again. Rashford, basically his only kick of the game. Come on, Marcus. Now, Marcus is a bit of a Jorginho. He's a bit of a Jorginho. Normally, he will stop and wait and see what the keeper's doing. He has a big run up and he'll have a look at Donnarumma. It's all about the techers, Marcus. It's all about the techers. Here we go, the run up. Oh, he's missed the whole fucking goal. Fucking hell. Oh, Marcus, that is absolute shit, mate. Come on. As penalties go, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Oh, Marcus, no the initiative again if we don't win this game we can't complain we were one nil up we defended a bad cross we were one nil up on penalties and we've missed we've, we've you know we've given up the momentum come on jordan he's having a good penalty shootout do it again bernadeshi straight down the fucking middle i tell you what it's slipping away it's slipping away it's slipping away here we could have won this game we could have won this game their penalties have not been good. And you know what? We've got to score two because Jorginho doesn't miss. So we've now got to score our last two penalties. I think the momentum's gone here, everybody. I do. I think the, I think the momentum's gone because Jorginho doesn't miss. So we've got to score our two last penalties just to take it to sudden death. We fucked it. I think we fucked it. I think we fucked it. And I think the crowd knows it. And I think you know it. I think we fucked this. Sancho. Misses. It's over. It's fucking over. They've done it. They fucking lost it. Bottle jobs. Bottled it. Bottled it. Jorginho to win it for Italy. He's never going to miss. He's never going to miss, I'm afraid. Bring the chair back. It's time to sit down. England hopes the time. It's time to sit down. It's over. Jorginho doesn't miss. Shouldn't even be on the pitch, but look, whatever. It's over. We, we get into opportunities and we blow it. can't believe it. 1-0 up, we bottle it from a crap cross, and then on penalties, we've got it there to win. He saved it! Oh! Oh my life! Jorginho misses! Wow, we're back in the game! We're back in the game! Come on, for how long? I don't know, but we're back in the game! We're back in the game! Jorginho misses! What a save by Jordan Pickford, that is! I tell you what, he's done his job. He has done his job. Um, I don't know now. Oh no, we've got a score. If he misses, we've lost. I didn't realise that. Saka's got a score or we've lost. I didn't realise that. I'm, I'm all over the place. I thought if we scored, we'd won it. Uh, Saka. Oh, fucking hell. You're having a fucking laugh, lads. Three penalties in a fucking row. You twat. How do you miss three penalties in a fucking row? Joke! 
absolute joke. You absolute bottle jobs. Three penalties in a row. Oh my Christ. Pickford saved two. Two. I can't believe three penalties in a row we miss. Fucking get out. Give the trophy to Italy. Well done. Well done to Italy. You fucking deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Let me get this tweet out. Well done to Italy. Bloody hell. Missed three penalties in a row. You deserve nothing. Look, people will say it's harsh. It's not harsh. We we know it's going to go to penalties. I, I can't. That is one of the worst penalty shootouts I've ever seen. I've never seen a penalty shootout as bad as that. Pickford saved two penalties. He's saved from fucking Jorginho. He's saved from Jorginho. Like, the game's over. When Jorginho takes that penalty, it's over. It's already over. He pulls off a world-class save and then we miss the next one again. We've just missed three penalties in a row out of five. That is unforgivable. I'm sorry. This is high-end sport. We can all start crying. I ain't crying. I'm not crying. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not crying. In Italia 90, I was upset. In 96, I was upset. That's a joke, mate. 